if somebody listening already has an LLC, they need to know that in over 30 states, LLCs don't really give you any charging order protection. The charging order is so weak that the winner still gets assets from you. Uh, mm -hmm. Only five states actually recognize what is called a single member LLC. That is where one person is the owner, not more than one. And that's only in five states. In the other 45 states, and specifically in Florida, single member LLCs are very disfavored under the law. So got to really watch that. Only a few states actually have strong LLCs with strong charging orders like I just showed you. So the, the, the thing I want people to realize is not, I, I mean, all LLCs are not the same. In fact, here's a list of 25 different types of LLCs. And each one of these is structured properly or taxed a different way, or it has certain language in it uh, that distinguishes it from just some plain old you know, uh, cookie cutter type of LLC. We could have an IRA LLC, an LLC designed for privacy, an LLC designed to manage properties or be a holding company or be an umbrella company. Uh, it could be a flipping LLC or a, hold, a wholesaling LLC or a rental property LLC. And we kind of covered those three. Uh, if somebody's using a land trust, we would have a trustee LLC and a beneficiary LLC. Um, and if somebody's just a passive investor, they would be investing in what's called a an investor LLC or a syndication. Uh, they would have, uh, there is a professional type of LLC that doctors and lawyers and, and uh, dentists and accountants would use. There are nonprofit LLCs for 501c3 organizations. There are series LLCs in 19 states. Uh, there are single purpose or multi-purpose LLCs, closed LLCs, IP, intellectual property LLCs. Um, once again, a syndication type of LLC. There's an LLC designed to give you, uh, let you write off 100% of your medical expenses. And some people will need that. Uh, there's an LLC just to hold employees, and it's called a staffing LLC. And there's one that would just own equipment, no people. Uh, and then there's a trading LLC for people who do uh, options trading or futures trading or stock trading. And then there are a couple new ones called an L3C and a DAO. A DAO is brand new for crypto investors. So, yeah. Yeah, July 1st is uh, when it became uh, law. Decentralized and, autonomous organization. Exactly right. And so brand new and uh, it's only available in one particular state. And so we, uh, we structure these LLCs specifically for their purpose. So when somebody says, you know, Bob, I've already got an LLC. The question is, is it this kind of an LLC or is it more like this kind of an LLC? <laughs> you know? In other words, you can say, I got a house or I got a house. And it doesn't tell you a darn thing about the quality of the house. Right. You know? So the question is, is this your LLC or is this your LLC? And the reason I use a foundation is because, you know, forming an LLC is pretty easy. You just go to a secretary of state website and you answer five or six or seven or eight questions and you got an LLC or so people think, but what they really have is the start of an LLC. They have the beginning of an LLC, but they, that's not an, a house you can live in. And that's not an LLC that's going to protect you. It's kind of like, you know, in other words, the mechanics of setting up an LLC are really simple. Kind of like the mechanics of making a baby are pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Any, anybody <laughs> can do it. Yeah. But raising that kid takes a lot of money and parenting skills and a mm -hmm. big, big commitment. And, and creating an LLC does the same thing. I mean, you're going to have to run that LLC the right way. You know, setting up an LLC yourself is kind of like going to a garage sale and buying a secondhand parachute. <laughs> it's, it's, you just don't know if it's going to work or not. And, it, and it's got to work. So we just don't do that. The problem is people who set up their own LLCs don't know what they don't know. And because of that, you really, you know, look, you're a professional in what you do. We're professionals in what we do. We know all the ins and outs. And that's why we always consult professionals.